find the equation of the circle passing through the points and whose center is on the line x minus 3y minus 11 equals to 0. Let us proceed with the solution. Here we have a circle whose center is on the line x minus 3y minus 11 equals to 0 and this circle passes through two points to so let us assume one point somewhere over here having coordinates 2 comma 3 let us call it as point P and another point somewhere over here having coordinates minus 1 comma 1 and let us call it as point Q also let us assume that the coordinates of center C are x comma y here we know that distance PC is equal to distance CQ since both are radius of the circle so here we have PC is equal to CQ actually we should say mod of PC is equal to mod of CQ hence by distance formula we have under root of x minus 2 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square equals to under root of x minus of minus 1 will give you plus 1 whole square plus y minus 1 whole square on squaring both the sides here we have x minus 2 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square equals to x plus 1 whole square plus y minus 1 whole square this implies that expanding each of the terms here we'll have x square plus 4 minus 4x plus y square plus 9 minus 6y equals to x square plus 1 plus 2x plus y square plus 1 minus 2y. Here we can cancel x square and y square on both the sides. So we have 4 plus 9 is 13 minus 4x minus 6y is equal to 1 plus 1 is 2 plus 2x minus 2y or we can say that 13 minus 2 is equal to 2x plus 4x minus 2y plus 6y. This gives us 13 minus 2 is 11 equals to 2x plus 4x is 6x minus 2y plus 6y is plus 4y. Or we can say that 6x plus 4y is equal to 11. Call it as equation 1. And the equation of the line that passes through the center can also be written as x minus 3y is equal to 11. Call it as equation 2. So on solving these two equations simultaneously, we'll get the values of x and y. Actually here we need to multiply equation 2 throughout by 6 to make the coefficient of x equal in both the equation. So here we have 6x minus 18y is equal to 66. This is our equation 3. And now we will subtract equation 3 from equation 1. So here we have 6x plus 4y is equal to 11 and 6x minus 18y is equal to 66. So subtracting equation 2 from equation 1 here we have these two 6x will get cancelled to each other 4y plus 18y is 22y equals to 11 minus 66 is minus 55 this implies that y is equal to minus 55 over 22 11 2s are 22 and 11 5s are 55 so here we have y is equal to minus 5 by 2 and now on substituting the value of y in equation 1 here we have 6x plus 4 into minus 5 by 2 equals to 11 this gives us 6x minus 10 is equal to 11 or we can say that 6x is equal to 21 this implies that x is equal to 21 upon 6 here we have 3 2s are 6 and 3 7s are 21 and finally we have x is equal to 7 by 2 hence we can say that the coordinates of center are 7 by 2 comma minus 5 by 2 now using distance formula we can find the distance PC this will give us the radius of the circle so here we have R is equal to under root of 7 by 2 minus 2 whole square plus minus 5 by 2 minus 3 whole square this will give us radius of the circle as under root of 131 over 4 I am leaving it for you to simplify this expression to get the value of R and finally we will substitute the value of radius and coordinates of center in the standard form of that is x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equals to r square this will give us x minus 7 by 2 whole square plus y minus of minus will become plus 5 by 2 whole square equals to r square is 131 over 4 
this is the equation of circle in standard form we can leave our answer here as well but if you wish to write it in general form then on expanding the left hand side and simplifying it further we'll get x square plus y square minus 7x plus 5y minus 14 equals to 0 so, so this completes our answer let us see the next problem